Hello friends, Tara here, but you can call me T-Pow, and today is my April 2021 Plan With Me video. The theme is party animals. Why? Because it's my birthday month. So whether you're new here or you've been around for a while but haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Call it an early birthday present. Last month's theme was very minimal, and this month's theme is the opposite. I hope you enjoy. All right, so of course we're starting with the cover page in the same circle design that I've been doing all year long. And for my cover page, the party animals that I've chosen to feature are none other than my dogs, Peppy and Peanut. Peppy is the black and white one with the spot on her back and the spot on her butt. And Peanut is very, very dark brown, but not quite black. You would think I would do a better job than this of drawing my own dogs, but I will say I did a much better job of drawing them this time around than I did back in February of 2019 when my entire theme was based on my dogs. So at least there's been some improvement. Moving on to my monthly spread, I feel like I always have the same disclaimer that I keep my monthly spread very simple because I add a million stickers to it. And because I keep saying that this month, I plan to show you guys on my Instagram a before the stickers version of my monthly spread and an after the stickers version of my monthly spread. Kind of like before the pen, after the pen, but with stickers. For this spread, I have a party panda bear and a party koala, who I believe is the cutest animal of the entire month. Let me know if you agree. I was inspired to do this theme because when I was making my bullet journal binder video and recreating the smoothie incident, which if you haven't seen that, I'll link it down below. I was using my actual bullet journal from the second half of 2020 in the video and I saw my July 2020 jungle theme. And to this day, that remains my favorite theme that I've done ever. I think the reason I love it so much is the animals that I got to draw. And that is what inspired this month's theme because I just love drawing animals. I'm not saying I'm great at it. I just really enjoy it. Moving on to my habit tracker. I have a party giraffe. I figured a giraffe would be a good animal for a habit tracker because completing our habits can often seem like a tall task, but the more we do it, the better we feel. So I felt a giraffe would be quite fitting because sometimes you just have to stick your neck out and do your habits. And guys, follow up from last month's video, I finally found a book to read. It's called Discover Your Dharma by Sahara Rose, and it's about finding your life's purpose. It is kind of like a self-help book, and I've never read a self-help book before, so I'm in a whole new genre, but I love Sahara Rose. I listen to her podcast, and her book's been out for a while and it just went on sale, so it just felt like the right time and I'm really enjoying it so far. So now I can actually start filling in my reading habit tracker. Next is my thoughts page and for this one, I have quite a fun animal. I have a dancing party bear. He's grooving, he's thriving, he's living his best life. It's been a rough year, but sometimes you just gotta dance, dance the stress away. That's what he's doing. Can you tell I'm recording this late at night? By the way, for those of you who might be new here, my thoughts page is just a brain dump page, but I call it a thoughts page because I don't like the word dump, but I thought it would be fun to start a new tradition for these monthly videos. And I try to put something on my thoughts page that could potentially have a thought. So I thought it would be fun if in the comments, we could write what we think whoever is on the thoughts page might be thinking. So if you want to write in the comments below what you think the dancing party bear is thinking because I think it would be so fun to come back and read those. Next is my astrological breakdown for the month where I record the sun transits, the moon transits, the monthly themes, and the significant moon phases and which date they are occurring. I made a huge mistake on this one. 
I wasn't gonna call myself out, but I know someone else will if I don't. I wrote that the sun is in Pisces for the first half of the month and it is not, it is in Aries. I apologize. I did go back and fix it, but I didn't catch it during the video. I didn't include a dancing animal on this page. Now I'm kind of regretting it because I should have drawn a bull. Hello, it's almost Taurus time. But what I did instead was I drew the constellation for Pisces, my mistake, and Taurus. It should have been Aries and Taurus, but at least I got my own sun sign right. So there's that. This next page is a little trip planner because we're taking a little low key staycation trip for my birthday because I told Mike, my fiance, all I pretty much wanted for my birthday was to go somewhere that isn't home and take a bath. One of my absolute favorite things to do in the world is take a bath. In my home, I don't have a functioning bathtub, so I reserved a room that literally has a jacuzzi tub in the room. Does it sound trashy? Absolutely. Am I gonna enjoy every second of it? Absolutely. I bought five bath bombs slash bubble bombs from Lush, and I plan on using all of them. So since Mike is going on this trip with me, of course, I had to do a Shiba Inu as the party animal because that is his favorite animal. I'm also a bit embarrassed that I was able to draw a Shiba Inu better than a Pomeranian because I actually own Pomeranians. So don't let Peppy see this or she'll get mad at me. One, because I'm leaving her for a couple nights and two, because I drew a dog that isn't her. And finally, we have the first weekly spread of the month and surprise, Easter is the first Sunday in April, which is like, shocking to me. I only found out a couple days before recording this, so it wasn't hard to pick the party animal for the first week. I chose a bunny. I don't really get into Easter as a holiday, but I do love me some peeps. Peeps, you either love them or you hate them and I love them. But my question for those of you who love peeps is, do you like your peeps fresh or do you like your peeps stale? Cause I'm a stale peeps girl. And then my follow-up question is, do you like a naked peep or do you like a chocolate covered peep? Ideally, I have a stale chocolate covered peep. That's the dream. I used to get peeps from a local candy shop and they used to make peeps from scratch and they would be dipped in chocolate, like the lower half of the peep would be dipped in chocolate. So good. I got them two years ago. They just had store-bought peeps dipped in chocolate. And I was like, I can make these myself. So now I've just been buying my own peeps and dipping them in chocolate. I don't cover them in chocolate. I dip them. So they're like half chocolate. I should also mention that last month I tried doing one page weeklies and then including a blank sheet of paper where I could basically have a running task list and when I tell you this is how I want a bullet journal from now on, I loved it so much. I feel like I was so much more on top of things because I was able to move that list from week to week throughout the month and none of my tasks got lost in the shuffle. So I'm going to continue doing that for the month of April. I have only one page weeklies and a running task list and I feel so productive and so on top of things. And now for the final flip through, I've decided to pair my light pink mild liner with this theme. I really love all the animals I included. I think it looks super cute. It makes me smile every time I look at these pages and I think it's a great way to celebrate my birthday in my bujo. And that was my party animal bullet journal setup. I'll be featuring a different party animal every single week in my weekly spreads. So if you want to follow along with that, you can follow me at TeaPowsBujo on Instagram where I post all of my weekly spreads as well as a few other bullet journal related things. And I have one small announcement before the video is over starting next Saturday weekly vlogs are back. So yet another reason to subscribe if you haven't already so that I can possibly reach my goal of a thousand by my birthday, which is April 29th. So we have just a little over a month before that happens. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.